Right, uh, newly released grand jury transcripts are giving us now a clearer picture of what prosecutors allege happened to four-year-old Noah Quattro. His parents accused now of killing him last year in Palmdale. NBC4 I-Team reporter Lolita Lopez has been working on all the new developments, but first, we have a warning for you that uh, you may find what she's about to describe upsetting. And I grab my hands and I start going like this. This is video of Jose Cuatro demonstrating to a sheriff investigator what he says he did when his son Noah stopped breathing. Cuatro and the boy's mother, Ursula Juarez, told investigators their four-year-old drowned in their apartment complex pool in Palmdale, July of last year. No, it's like, Noah, Noah. So like, just Noah. like that? Yeah, like, Noah, please so wake up. And he was like just moving his head and stuff. The video seen here for the first time, part of hundreds of exhibits and documents in the grand jury transcripts of the case against the parents, both charged with torture and murder, Jose Cuatro with an additional sexual abuse charge. Among the documents, the final medical report, calling Noah's death a homicide by asphyxiation, also indicating blunt force trauma. A physician who examined Noah testified that the boy had no indication of drowning, his hair dry, no water in his lungs. A child abuse expert also confirms what initial attending physicians first reported, a tear and active bleeding coming from the boys behind, according to the documents. The couple in court last week in a hearing to release the documents. Prosecutors say on July 5th, 2019, the little boy soiled his shorts, which angered his father, who then beat and suffocated Noah and allegedly sexually abused him. According to the transcripts, prosecutors allege Cuatro did not believe Noah was his son and targeted him. The autopsy report shows traumatic injuries of varying ages, including several healing ribs, scattered bruises, and internal injuries, including a liver laceration. There's bruises on him. Back. We are also hearing the calls to the child protection hotline by Noah's social worker with the LA County Department of Children and Family Services and seeing the pictures taken of the boy's body in April 2019. I love my mommy, I love my daddy, you know, he seemed very coached. Just two months before Noah's death, she requested to remove the boy from the parents' home. As the I team has reported, the request was approved by a judge but never carried out. She would make another call the following month with new New allegations of sexual abuse against Noah and domestic violence in the home. DCFS tells the I team it was investigating these claims and trying to meet with the family when he died. Relatives want answers. We just want to know the truth of what happened to Noah. After Noah's death, social workers and supervisors must now consult with the head of DCFS before deciding if a removal order will not be carried out. DCFS tells us the director has not approved not executing a removal order since that policy change. Noah's parents are back in court next month. One of the defense attorneys tells us they do not comment on pending cases. For the I-Team, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.